how the dealership of cars can make a profit from a used car. Probably your car comes from this one. 65,000 I made. So what are the risks? You will never make money. This car got fired. Do you think this one can be prepared? I tell you, yes. See where I am. I am in the co-part auction, the biggest auction in the world. There's only one branch in UAE. There are many other branches. Here where the dealer can make profit. You see this car? You see, it's impossible you can repair it, right? Repair it again. But the dealership, the one who buy this one, will take it to the nice garage and make it anew and will sell it to you, to everyone, and they make a huge profit from this. Guys, in this place you can find many used damaged cars. For example, look at this. Beautiful car, but damaged. But there they can sell it and make it profit. For example, this one is old car, and but damaged also. Even the taxis here, guys. Taxi are making accidents. So when they are not probably functioning well, they bring him here so the garage can prepare them and then sell it again to the people. So guys, if you want to buy a new car, you have to make sure is it new, not only damaged, because most of the dealership cars, they come here, take this car, for example, they fix it for you and they sell it for you. And you, you don't know about what was happening before. Now I am with the Philip. He is really expert in buying and selling cars. He bought many cars from Copart in Dubai, in UAE, in US, everywhere he knows about. So I want to ask you first, where, where are we now? Right now we are in the Copart parking that is located in Dubai. And uh, here you can see the local cars, mostly, mm -hmm. that are wrecked, damaged, whatever, or taken by government. Mm. So the same thing as an em Emirates auction, but a little bit different because Copart is not a governmental company. So well, why the cars are here? They are damaged or they are not used or there is a problem in the cars? What, what kind of problems? In Dubai, like in other countries, there are uh, several reasons why people lose their cars. Yeah. First of all, they um, come to accident. Okay. And after, when the insurance company decides that the car cannot be repaired, it is mm. sent here and maybe someone will buy. Maybe it will go to scrap yard, whatever. Mm. There are another reasons. Sometimes uh, guys run away from the country due ah. to some, I don't know. Legal issue. Yes, something like that. And they just simply drop the car. Mm. In that case, police comes, they put uh, stickers, they try to find him by the plate number. Mm. And if they cannot, they take the car to Emirates parking, uh, mm. where police parking. Mm. And after that uh, begins the court, all that things. Mm. It takes uh, around six months. Mm. And when everything's done, they uh, sell it through Emirates auction. Also, there are cars that are abandoned by other reasons mm. and there are cars taken by court sometimes when people are in debt they yes. cannot pay something the bank the bank everything yes. for example you say i want to buy a ferrari you take a loan from the bank you go out and you buy oh i have a bank but at a certain point you don't have money to pay the installments the bank you know what the bank will tell you okay you give us your car as a security mortgage and you are going to take it so when the bank takes the car, we'll put in the auction. So the people bid directly and they can't take it. One more thing regarding this uh, 
details. When mm -hmm. you try to buy a car on any auction, mm. the first thing to check is what is the situation with the documents of the car. Yes. Because sometimes it is mentioned with small, small words that mm -hmm. the documents will be provided within three months, for yeah. example. So you want the car, you're expecting it to come to you, but they say no, Habibi three months you need to wait for the documents to be uh, finished only after that you can take the car so you cannot take the car immediately sometimes sometimes that's why it is very important mm. to know everything about the car before the purchase mm. is it profitable to buy cars from here well it depends on uh, what is profitable in your mind. For mm. example, if you are ready to waste your time and life mm. earning like 10% mm. from one car, mm. almost every car can give you 10%. Okay. But it is uh, useless when the car costs, for example, $5,000. Mm. 10% is how much? 500. Mm. Would you spend time going here back for 500? No. I believe not. That's why people try to earn as much as possible and usually they try to buy the cheapest car on the market, but mm. they don't know what is actually with the car. When you want to buy a car, you also should check whether this car is sold directly from insurance company, government, or mm. from another guy. Mm. Because for example, I have uh, this yeah. pickup and I need engine or gear because mine is broken. Mm. So I can buy a car like that, take what I need, mm. put uh, damaged parts mm. from my car, and sell it again. Uh, Sometimes uh. people do things like that and you don't know about it and you will never know because you can come here and check only outside, start the engine, something mm. like that. You cannot take the car to the garage mm. to have a detailed look. Mm. That's why you can buy a car from previous owner but he did something mm -hmm. or maybe he bought the car and he found out that it is impossible to be repaired mm. and now he wants to get rid of it. Okay. So all these things, all these things matters. And if you want to make money in this business, you mm. should try once, once, once. Like, for example, if you buy one car, you, you can win me. or you can lose. Yeah. But if you buy 50 cars or 20, I don't know, mm. some cars will be profitable, some cars will be not. Mm. And only by quantity of cars, you will realize if it is Mm. If, if you're able to make money with this business or not. Guys, I want to show you something really nice here. You see this car, it's new. I don't know why is this car is here, it's not damaged. Nothing happened to this car. And even the car is only a few days here. Let's discover inside what happened to this car. Why this car is here, I don't know. In the, in the auction, the cop part. Let's see. Wow, beautiful. See, it's new. Let me drive it. I hope the key is inside. Oh, my gal is not working well now. Wow, new one, beautiful. It's only 100. Oh, the battery is on also. So I get notification here in the screen. There is something. Oh, the kilometer is only 100,000 kilometer. Who wants to buy this car? Do you love it, guys? Do you want to bet? I'll show you more. I promise you today I'll show you more, not only this. How, how can the dealership can make profit from here? They buy a lot of cars, they put in the garage, they repair it, and they sell it again? For example, let's pretend that these two cars yes, are same two. model. Okay. Just pretend. They are okay. not the same. Okay. But for example, I can buy this car and that car, and that car is, you see, hit in the back yeah. and that one in the front. Yes. So it will take for me, for example, one week yeah. to repair this car and some parts I will sell to scrap. Mm. But this car is cheap and I don't want to spend time on it. Mm. But imagine that this is Mercedes-Benz S-Class, mm. for example, or G-Wagon or something like that. On cars of that um, price, you can make thirty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000, whatever. Wow. But it, uh, it requires from you a lot of things that you have to control and you have to understand because mm. we may see patrol over there yeah and this car looks as if it was standing here for six or eight months and as you may see the roof is opened mm. it means that the sun and the sand has uh, ruined rubbers maybe electric issues, something like that. And you may not know about it unless you start the car. And when you mm. start the car, you say, Wallah, Habibi, what did I buy? Mm. I have to buy a lot of parts. And parts in Dubai are extremely expensive mm. in scrapyard. 
usually I take parts from Russia yeah. or Asia or eBay or whatever because when I grow to Saja, for example, yeah. they say the price like the new one. Yeah. And uh, there is no reason for me to buy uh, parts from there. Mm. So you have to try. This business can be profitable. Mm. You can make money, but you have to understand that if you if you want you to earn the money, mm. you have to control everything. Okay. If you drop the car in the garage, garage will make money. Ah. Everybody around you will, will make money. Also, if you buy car from the auction, personally, you will have to pay 11-12% fees. Yeah. But if you have a company, it's 5-7%. And some cars are available to be sold only for companies with mm. license. You have to learn everything about it. But if you are lazy, like me, for example, <laughs> you can try. Try buy something cheap like this car, for example. Yes, it is high demand on the market. Mm. At least zero, you can sell it. Yeah. You will not make money, but you will gain experience. Yeah. And step by step, don't I don't suggest you to start from expensive cars. Yeah. Because, for example, I don't buy Lamborghini or Ferrari mm. because if something inside the engine, oh, fine. it's done. So you need to have experience yes. about any car you buy. And usually, people deal with. Uh, this exact cars. For example, I take Nissan Altima mm. and I buy Nissan Altima and Nissan Altima and Nissan Altima. And when I bought 10 Nissan Altimas, 11th, I can repair from the parts that were from that mm. previous 10. And now I know everything about Nissan Altima and I can take a glance and just realize how much money I need to spend. Mm. But if I take, I don't know, Patrol or Pajero, zero experience from the beginning. So what are the risks? The risks are, well, I have mentioned the risk regarding documents. Yeah. It's just the documents, first risk. Yes, it's, uh, it's the time loss. The second one, I don't suggest to buy cars that are sold by private owner. Okay. Because there can, can be issues that you can never know. So before you, who, who you suggest? Uh, better buy from the government or, government. or insurance company. Insurance company or government, better than private owner. Yes, because private owner is risky. Yeah. And you cannot control it. And the second thing is uh, parts. You should try to find out approximate price of the parts and add 30%. Believe me. If you say that this car needs $5,000 investment, 6500 mm. Every time. It's statistics. Every time 30% extra. Because there are small issues and you will never... Well, of course, you can sell the car that is not finished yet. Yes. But who would like to buy the car when there is this plastic is damaged, something not working, mm. all that things. Usually, you try to rectify everything. Mm. And this 30% covers uh, these things that are not obvious when you just have a look on the car here. Guys, guys, come with me. I will show you something. You see this car? It's Porsche. I'm going to see inside how it looks like. Oh my God, what a beautiful inside. Outside is damaged, but inside nothing happened. Come, come, come guys with me, check inside. See, nothing happened, beautiful and new. It's just you take it to the surface to wash it and to be new and you repair it. It's, do you think how many kilometer? You can see the kilometer. It's only 98,000 of this car. So if I tell you how you can participate how you want to buy this one instead of going to dealership. First, you have to register yourself in this co-part and then you put a deposit. Then you go to the bid auction. It's not like you go physical everything by online now. Imagine you are sitting at your home, wherever you are in Russia, US, India, Egypt, anywhere, you just, oh, I like this car, you go to the online, you check, I want to buy, you bid 10,000. The other one will bid 11,000, 13,000. Then you win, you come and buy it. You go to the garage to fix it and enjoy driving a new car. That's what dealership makes profit. There's someone like me, like normal yes. person, he comes here, he likes a car, he wants to buy it. What he needs to check? First of all, you need to try to, you need to start the engine. That's mm. why you have to buy booster. Mm. The thing that starts battery because all cars here with dead batteries. Yes. And also you have to take a tank mm. with a petrol mm. because most of them out of petrol. And if you like some car, you should add petrol by yourself 
and start the engine. Mm. If it starts, at least you have a chance not to lose money. Mm. But if car doesn't start, don't waste your time. Mm. It is too risky. So from your experience, Philip, okay, you bought a lot of cars. What are the problems you face in buying these cars? What the issues happen to you after? Most issues uh, came with the cars that were standing under the sun okay. for a long time. Mm. Because when you see the damage, you can repair it easily. But when oh. you start to use the car, it means that all suspension need to be changed mm. because all the rubbers cracked. Mm. You have to change all the rubbers around windows. Mm. Everywhere where's the rubber under the sun or under the heat, it's ruined. Mm. And you change it step by step. For example, you repair everything today, mm. one week, some more issues coming. Mm. One week, some mm. un until you repair everything, yeah. It will go, go, go. Course, step, course. Step so how to prevent this issue? This issue, not to buy cars that were standing in desert. Long time. Long time, yes. Ah, uh, buy like when you come to... The, so this one advice from Philip is saying, don't buy a really damaged car from auction because when you buy it, you see it's new. I repaired everything. There is another damage will come and come and come and the cost will come to you every time. So if you want to buy a car... You buy it like not really damaged, so you make sure it can stay for with you for a long time. Yes, and also I do not suggest to buy cars that with broken windows. We mm. may see a lot of Bugatti, for example, yes. Ferrari. You, you saw that photos. Yeah. That the car standing, that layer of sand, yes. windows down and sand inside the car. Mm. It means that almost all electricity in the car is ruined because... Well, you understand. Sand mm. destroys everything. Yes, yes. And uh, that's why at least try to choose a car that is completely closed. We just found a buyer. He just bought a car from Copar. I'm going to ask him a couple of questions. I am with Muhammad. Hello. Muhammad, how are you? Alhamdulillah. Nice to meet you. How was it? How it was, was the good. process to buy the car? The service was very good and the process was very easy. Mm -hmm. They helped me so good. They were so good, the staff. They were mm. uh, really helpful. Mm -hmm. And the process was... Uh, How many cars you bought? Two cars. Two cars. Just I, you went to online to buy all the... I bid through mm. the cars online and ah. I need to do the cash payment here. Uh -huh. So you put a deposit? Uh, yeah, they, they have my bank account. They, yeah. uh, they, they're very, they trust like their uh, buyers. So yeah. they know that the buyers can pay yeah. and will pay the amount here. And if they don't pay, they take 20% of the buyers. Ah, so when you put a deposit, you have to buy, otherwise they will take it. The 20%. 20%. Of, yes, of course. So can you show me which car you did you buy? Yes, of course. I bought the Defender. See, guys. He just bought a car defender, will not show the number, but he bought with 180,000. But, wow. but they take a 10% tax or 10 to 20, 10, 11% tax, so it okay. becomes uh, 200,000. Ah, so he bid 180,000, but the corporate, they take 11% fees. So he bought 200,000, almost 200,000 for Defender. And they also bought a uh, Gem Sierra. Gem Sierra 2020, he bought it uh, how much? 64,000. 64,000 plus 12%. Thank you so much, Mohammed. Enjoy it. Now, what is the process now you bought the car? Now I'm just looking to the car. I want to see it and uh, be on my way. Uh -huh, so you will drive it back. They gave you a key. They can, can take the key now. You can take the key yeah, I can and you the, drive it. And drive it and leave. But do, all the cars are damaged here. How you drive it? Did you uh, check before? Yeah, if the car cannot be moved, I'll have a crane to take the car with me uh, to the garage, inshallah. So how did, you, how did you choose your car? I choose the car by knowing what's the damage of the car. So I know how much I can repair the car. So I know when, like how much will the car like, cost me throughout all the process so i know maybe i'll be in profit or the car doesn't fit me okay but right now i know by the car's percentage outside i'm still how do you know the damages by choice if the car is uh, you only... came here before to see the car i, I no I, it's not, i saw it through the website and there, there is a report yeah, there is a full there report, is full report about the, the car. car guys if Just you want to buy a car it's not like you buy by chance you get it no there is a full service full report about any car and 
Congratulations, Mohammed. I wish you all the best. Drive well. And what are you going to do with the car? You sell it or for you? Sell it, drive it maybe. I don't know yet. All the best, Mohammed. Guys, we found a car trap here. If you want to buy, you see this car, it's beautiful, right? And you, even inside, there is a plastic, like, make it. So I want to ask Philip, what do you think about this car? Can I buy it? <laughs> no, I will not suggest <laughs> you to buy it. Because we may see that the bumper is not from that car. Mm. And uh, they didn't even put uh, fenders here to yeah. cover that the bumper is not. So it was accident car. Okay. And they just bought the cheapest bumper on the market, yeah. Chinese one, painted it and mm. put here. They were so lazy that yeah. this one yeah. from another car and another <laughs> color. Yeah. This one are black. Mm. And also you may see that one yes screws so mm. uh, what i'm trying to say these guys uh, bought a damaged car mm. put only some parts here mm. invested like 1000 dirham mm. and want to sell it for you if you don't understand anything mm -hmm. in cars like the car is okay but when you come to the nearby service nearby garage after purchase you will realize that you will never pass yes. RTA will never let you uh, drive this car on the road and you have to invest at least 12 maybe 17,000 dirhams in this car so if you buy it you buy it cheap but the cost of uh, reparation will cost you more you might not even buy it cheap because mm. it can be two of you who decided yeah. that this is a good deal and you will bid each other mm. and one of you will win will win a huge headache <laughs> you see guys this car Tahoe James is damaged from outside. Even that one is open. So how to recognize, how to see the bed? You come here to check the number. B5 is this, this one. And you go online, I want to bet in this car, in this date, I want to buy this. So let's discover what's inside this car. Wow, it's new, but the airbag is out. You see, even the material like, it's new showing inside. Let me go inside and try it. Oh, there is no key here. Hmm. Beautiful. Oh, nothing is working, but looks nice, guys. You want to buy this one? Come to Copart and I will show you many other cars. Let's go and discover a new car. How many cars did you buy from auction? Well, actually, approximately maybe 40, not more. 40? Yeah, because uh, usually I buy from uh, US yeah. or Europe. Yeah. And uh, I, need it, I need them to come here. I need to restore. I need to sell or go for rent, whatever. Mm. The, the, there are different purposes of the cars. Some cars I buy just for fun mm. because I like cars of the beginning of 2000s, like yeah. cars 2005, 2003. This car's called Young Timers. Yeah, Young Timers. It's like S-Class 1998, mm. something like that. But uh, some cars I just uh, buy for money. For example, mm. now I'm finishing Bentley that I mm. bought from United states yeah. and it is 2017 bentley convertible mm. but only 9000 miles driven mm. and the car just like new for example okay but this car uh, well i will try to sell yeah if i will not manage i will drive it myself with big pleasure <laughs> you have to uh, see if it is business you should uh, treat it like a business mm. if it is fun well why not people like playing games yes why not to buy uh, i don't know damaged bugatti mm. and spend five years repairing it maybe mm. it's your hobby mm. so first the first thing you should do before starting any auction any bidding yeah. is to decide who you are a mm. businessman or a player yeah if you're a player forget about the money just take pleasure mm. play the game hobby hobby yeah mm. like the car that i came yes i was bidding until the guy refused yes. another one philip showed me a beautiful car he just bought it uh, recently right yes mon month ago month ago what's kind of this car it's a lincoln continental 1968 with modern engine modern gear mm. and uh, i wanted to buy it for twenty-five thousand dirham but there was another guy yeah and we were bidding 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 and the price was very high yeah but i decided that i will take this car because this is not investment this is for my heart
I bought the car in that condition and now I'm just improving it. So I put cameras, sound system, soundproofing, step by step. There are a lot of things to be done with this car, but the main feature of the car is that it has modern engine. Also, it's a big problem because in Dubai it is impossible to register a car like that, but in Sharjah they allow. That's why I have Sharjah number plates. Mm -hmm. And this car, yes, I have to do a lot of things, but in every centimeter of this car, I see how many efforts, patience, nerves the guy put in this car. And I'm very grateful to him because he did an amazing job and I will just make it better. Can you show me the engine? Is it new also or how, how is it? Yes. This engine, one moment. As far as I understand, this is GM engine, mm. LS called. It's V8 and uh, well, it's nice. I did some things that are forbidden to be done here. <laughs> this, that car can. Okay, so let's check inside. Wow, red inside, guys. You can should, I go inside? You should sit. Yes. You should wow. feel it. Wow, comfortable, like you are in the bed, you know? This pond here. <laughs> 60 years ago, they knew Whoa. how to treat people. Very nice car, red, classic. And we bought, or Philip bought this car from the auction. The place where we showed you many cars. But what you need, you need to have the experience. You need to have Philip <laughs> to guide you which car do you need to buy. But if you go there, if you want to buy for the first time, you know you don't buy, for example, like this kind because it's risky. Should be someone experienced to guide you. If you want to buy to learn, buy small cars and learn every time from it. Philip? Let's start the engine. Yes. How? Uh, yeah. How to start this one? The, you want the to car. try? Yes. Oh, <laughs> this one from my flat, no? From my apartment. It's not a good car. <laughs> Ooh. You can hear the voice? Hear this again. Boom. This one from the auction, guys. Congratulations, Philip. Thank you. I want to buy it. How much you sell it? No, I, I will not sell it before I finish it. Ah, how much you will sell me after? Big after. discount? Uh, let's discuss the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> so, w what was the most expensive car you bought from the auction? Mm, the most expensive car I bought from the auction well, actually, it was Aston Martin. Aston Martin? Yeah. And uh, the thing is that uh, the car was, like, ruined mm. by the documents. Mm. But actually, some parts of the suspension should have been changed, mm. and that's it. It was a big luck. Mm. Because most of people... You should also understand that there are cars with high demand. Yeah. For example, Nissan Patrol. Uh, what else? Mm, Toyota Camry. Mm. These cars also here in uh, UAE, mm. are very popular. Mm. And there will be 10 guys who would like to buy it, mm. and they will reduce your profit every step, every second. They will bid and reduce mm. your profit. Mm. But there are cars that most of people are afraid to buy. Mm. Sometimes this BMW. Yes. Uh, local market doesn't mm. know how to treat European cars, usually, yeah. because... The parts are very um, expensive and there are many electrical issues and it mm. is very hard to find good electrician here. Mm. And that's why they better buy two Camry rather than one BMW. Uh. And this is the chance because there can be only two or three of you mm. who are willing to buy it. And that's why you can make more money of it. Mm. But the second thing is that that car is harder to be sold. Mm. So yes, you can make more money on this car, but you have to spend more time on repairing and selling because it is not on high demand. Okay. So you have to choose. You have to understand the market. You have to understand the consequences. Mm. And uh, you have to be prepared for everything. This car, the people love this car here. Nissan Petrol. But do you think this one can be prepared? It's really damaged. Uh, the answer is yes. They will prepare it. They will fix it. And they will sell it to you. See how is it damaged? Oh my God. But everything is possible in this place. Let me check inside. Oh, red inside. Whoa. Why do people love this car, do you think, Nissan Petrol? Because the people here love to go to the desert and they have big family. 
So when they go to the desert and this one, this one powerful in the sand. So cannot sink down between the sands. Only with the four wheel, you can go out and you go anywhere. And also there is many options. Not only this, it's big for the big family. So two family, three family, friends, everyone, seven people, eight people, they can go with this car. Beautiful car in this co park auction. Do you want to bet? Tell me how much money you want to buy this car. And I will help you to get it for you. Let's go and discover more. Why is here? It's nothing. It's only steel, metal, nothing there. This is a burned car. And maybe there was some damage. Damage caused by burning of this car. And the guy didn't pay. This will be sold for 500 dirham, 300 dirham. I don't know how much this yes. metal costs. And this money will go to people who were suffering because of this burn. Something like that. Okay. It's just the legal issue, nothing more. It's about legal issue. And instead of throwing or something because it's mortgage to the bank. Yes. So the bank wants to make at least 500 or small to, to close amount, the deal. To close the deal. Or I get my money, a few 1% of the loan. And yes. They go out. So the, you bought the most expensive car, St. Martin. Yeah. How much was it? Uh, it was ninety-six thousand dollars. Ninety. And you, did you sell it? Yes, one seventy. One seventy. So you made a profit of approximately ninety thousand dollars. No, no, no. I invested some money, but uh, sixty-five thousand I made. You made sixty-five thousand dollars. So guys, some if you are experienced like a Philip, you can make a lot of money from one car. So if you are really great experience, you listen to Philip and learn and you can make it also. But always keep in mind that everybody likes to tell good stories yes. when they're winning. Yes. And nobody will tell you the bad story. Because for example, Aston Martin was a good story, mm. but there were six stories that were bad. <laughs> and statistics is like that. Every time you have to learn, you study something, you gain more experience yes. and you reduce the quantity of cars that causes loss of money. Mm. And sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Yes, it's luck sometimes. Sometimes it is luck. The Aston Martin was luck. Ah, I, so. I bought it with closed eyes because I just, it was my feeling. Mm. But if I were wrong, I would yeah. lose money. Yeah. And you should not do it like that. It's a, mm. it's a nice story. You wanted, you asked me about the story where I yeah. made much money. This is the story. What are How the story like you made loss? Well, loss not. You didn't make any loss? Loss not, but I made uh, zero. You made zero profit? Yes, zero what, profit. What was the car? Zero profit, uh, this Malibu, for example. Malibu? Yes. Okay. Yes. The car, well, I earned some money on it. Mm. Because I put it on the rent for two months. Okay. And at least 5,000 dirhams I earned. You buy because you put it earn, okay. Yeah, I rented it to some people yeah. from Russia. For two months, mm. I earned like 5,000 dirhams mm. and sold it zero. Okay. So this, is, this was my way to gain at least something mm -hmm. from the car. Mm. But uh, not all the people have these opportunities. So when you go to, the, to buy a car from auction, don't think you are going to make for every car profit. No, you have to expect loss. You have to expect some time, energy, consumption. That's why. But the important thing, what the Philips said, you don't, if you want, just you starting to buy new cars from auction, don't buy a huge car, Aston Martin, like what he did. Start with the small, and then you learn from it. Every time, every car you buy, there is a learning process. I hope like the, you like this episode. And if you like it really, and if you want us to progress and give you more and more and more, please subscribe, like. If you want to have any questions, Philip and I will answer you. Just drop any questions, comments down, and we'll come back to you. I hope you like it, and I'll see you soon with the new episodes. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye. Good luck.